you. Stop the vehicle, bro. Let me see your hands. You gotta get in the car. Out of the car. Walk back to us. Turn around. Why are you talk to me? Turn around. Things were a far cry from business as usual at the Circle K in Palm Coast, Florida, on a summer night in 2021. Customers bore witness to a frightening occurrence that began with an altercation and quickly escalated to grand theft and kidnapping charges, given that a young child was trapped inside the vehicle that was stolen. A pair of bystanders who'd seen it all go down briefly described the encounter to law enforcement upon their arrival at the scene. So it's a, it's a white Dodge journey? Yes, sir. Yeah, so I'm going to have to order in house for the van. And we're going to have borderline. I mean, it's almost for, kidnapping. First, he was over there. So he had, had, the, over had there. the the, the uh, driver's side back door. So not the driver's side, the passenger on the driver's side open yeah. when she was trying to get to the vehicle. And then he drove and then backed up. Instead of him getting out, he jumped out, faced me, and then shoved me clear back. Knocked my dang glass off. What's, What's his name? Baby? Andrew, Allen, Andrew, Tyrone, Allen. Did they get him? Okay. We're not sure yet. They're still looking for the car. The mother of the missing child is Andrew's childhood friend. Just been throwing at him the whole time, the whole day, and I was just like, where can I drop you off at? And so he told me to come here because he like, he forgot to get something out of the store. And he goes, I like he's going into the store. I get out and like, he locks me, runs around, locks me out of the car. He's grabbing like all the little pocket knives that he has. Do you want to press charges for kidnapping? I do. I want to press charges for everything I get him for. So far, we're going to have kidnapping and battery. There's a child in the car. The situation is especially urgent considering there's a little girl in the vehicle. Hey, let me see your hands! Stop the car! Yeah, he's gone. Not stopping, he's trying to roll forward. Let me see your hands. Put your hands up. Officers have arrived at a fateful moment. The standoff could go in any direction from here. Stop the vehicle, bro. Let me see your hands. Put the vehicle in park and turn it off. You got to get in the car. I know. Get out. Get out of the car. Do it now. Get out of the car. Do it now. Andrew is surrounded. With your left hand, keep your right hand where it is. Open the door from the outside and slowly get out. Your right hand. With your left hand, open your door from the outside and get out. I'm tone deaf in one ear. Unlock it and get out. All right. You think we're playing? Get out. Yo, get out of the car. Do it now. Hey, get out of the car now. Don't make me tell you again. Can I order one of them for her? No, get out now. No. Get out of the f-ing car. Walk back to us. Turn around. What are you talking to me? Amos? Turn around. I told you I don't have no gun. Turn around. I got some in my pocket. My wallet. Walk back towards me, all right? Walk back towards me. Hey, okay. walk back towards me. Come on. Okay. All right. Let's go. Keep walking. Keep walking, dude. Keep walking towards me. Come on. Come on. Keep walking, man. Chill out. We got you. Thank you. Step back here for me. Just listen to me and you, everything will be fine. All right. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Put your hands behind your back. All right. Hey, cool. Thankfully, the little girl appears to be uninjured. Hey, sweetie, you okay? You okay? You're all right? What's your name? Can I get a high five? Do you want to go back to your mom? Yeah. yeah. Okay. We're going to bring mom over here, okay? All righty, you're safe now. Meanwhile, other officers are handling the suspect, and he's definitely not pleased with the whole situation. You're just being detained. Can you do the other way, please? Oh, my hand? Yes, we will. Relax. My hand is messed up. Okay, we're going to fix up. Husband. we got to make sure she's all right. Oh, Calm down, dude. But you're not understanding that my hand is fractured. Chill out. Okay, you, I got listen, goggles on. And there's I, a reason we're out here. I so got you. A, we didn't, I hear you. We didn't just come. Officer, I hear you. I'm, I'm present. Okay. Calm down. We'll fix them in a minute. All right. I got you, but I'm telling you, you're grabbing onto my hand. It's painful for me right now. Okay. We'll fix it in a second. I promise you. I got you. No, it's too late now. The officer behind me is the one gripping my hand. Any weapons or anything on you? No, I'm trying to tell you the weapons are all on the dash or whatever. Okay. That's what I'm saying. Give me a second to talk to you. We will. Well, we got to read you some rights, all right? And then we'll get with you. All right. 
I was trying to tell you, I maybe wrote a window down at least for the little girl, dog. We got the door open. She's fine, I promise you. I got you, but she's already scared. We got, listen, we've talked to her. We're good. Mom's coming up here. We're straight. I know, but I'm saying the thing is she was scared because she's banging on the window. And literally, I asked for the keys. So that's what, that's Sorry, what it was. Listen, what I'm just trying to explain to you, I hear you. is like we literally have, I just talked to her myself. She is totally fine, I promise you. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and do a pat down on you. Once I start my pat down, don't make any type of sudden moves. If you do, I'll take that as an act of aggression at the courtroom. Do you understand? Okay. Can okay. I warn you about one thing? Sure. I got a skateboard and injury real close up here, so just be a little gentle. Sure, absolutely. Is there anything on me that's going to poke me, sit me, or jab me, bud? Not that I know of. Right, man. Listen, hey, I ain't had a girl touch me in a while, so just be careful, okay? Roger that, brother. I might enjoy it too much. I might enjoy it too much. I understand. Andrew's pat down indicates that he isn't concealing anything and he's moved to the back of a patrol unit. All right. So before we, before I ask you any further questions, I'm just going to read you something. Just, so, just something to get out of the way. Doesn't mean you're under arrest or anything right now. I'm just going to tell you, all right? Andrew acknowledged that he understood his rights, but refused to speak with law enforcement without legal representation present. Still, it seems it wasn't long before he had a change of heart. What happened to your finger? Right between your I hands. Say, I was just in the hospital two or three days ago because I was fighting with her. She pepper sprayed me in the parking lot, left me like, stranded with all my park, my stuff in the middle. Where was that at? Was that here? Foreman. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Yeah, I punched the wall. Um, I really don't know what it was with that. Me and her were like, I guess, bickering about. Mm -hmm. um, it was at Chick fil A. She blew up in the middle of that. I had actually been drinking. Mm -hmm. She wanted me to drive. I went to get drinks, right? I lost my glasses. My glasses got broken in the last couple of months. I just ordered some. I can't drive without my goggles. Right. So again, like... And you were drinking too, right? Yeah. I got you. I was drinking, but I seriously... I'm not even trying to play with you. Like, yeah. I'm an athlete. I, got I know you. how to handle my liquor. So again, I was trying to talk to her. Um, I was guiding her how to get to the Chick-fil-A that night. Andrew has a bit of a dilemma here. After all, he hasn't even provided a reason as to what compelled him to resort to these acts. Regardless, what's done is done, and Andrew is about to head to his next destination. Step back for me. It's an extra felony, and I'm, I'm giving you a fair chance just to tell me now if you have anything else. I shoved anywhere, anywhere we didn't check, it's anything an we didn't find. Felony? If you have something on you that we didn't find that's illegal, a like contraband, anything like that. Well, I'm, what I, I'm sorry, but what I look like to you? I tell everybody. I'm just, just saying. Like, okay. Y'all just searched me three times I, yeah. at this point. Like, I tell everybody whether it's... I got leggings on, dude. Okay. Let's go ahead and hop in. And with the arrest and charges of simple battery, grand theft of a motor vehicle, and kidnapping, Andrew was transported to the Flagler County inmate facility to complete the booking process. It was determined that he would be held without bond.